This dish couldn't be simpler with very few ingredients. Obviously, the eggplant. And whether or not you're using a multicolored eggplant or the darker eggplant, I don't think it matters a bit. But what we're going to do to this is peel it, slice it in one third inch. I like it a little thicker. You can make it skinnier if you want. It'll make it more of a chip. But I like the moisture that is in the uh, eggplant when the dish is done, when it's slightly thicker. So that's all we need to do to this. But before we fry it, we're going to soak it in milk with some salt. The next thing we're going to do is drain it, pat it dry, and dust it with some corn flour. Now, before I did this video, I tried to test a bunch of different things just to see what I might like. I tried panko that I ground very fine. I tried semolina with a coarse grind. I, tr I tried the classic straight flour, all-purpose flour, with salt. And then I tried corn flour. What I love about corn flour is it's very delicate, has no gluten in it, so it fries up nice and crispy, and that makes a big difference. And the others, for my taste, I didn't care for as much. But you should try them and figure out what works for you. Some people really like that crunchy bit that a, a panko will give a fried dish or the coarse semolina could do that too. But I just felt that this was a little bit more delicate and really flavorful. So that's the way I went with it. I've already peeled the eggplant, cut it into one third inch slices, and I've soaked it in milk with a little bit of salt for about an hour. You can go anywhere from 25 minutes up to two hours, it doesn't really matter. The objective is to start to get rid of some of the bitterness. We're gonna pat it dry with some paper towel and then gently dust it with some corn flour. Dusting these is very simple. You can do it with your hands, just and dust it off, that's all. But I like to use a little brush it gets it nice and thin. You don't want a heavy coating on here. You just want a very thin, light coating. It's more to seal the eggplant as it's frying than anything. So it's not like we're building up a real crust on the eggplant. There, all done. That took all of a minute. So we've got plenty of time to do the rest of the job. I'm almost at temperature now. In fact, I'm at 368, so I'm going to wait just a couple more minutes until I'm sure it's nice and hot. What never works is to put anything you're frying in oil that's not hot enough because it will absorb the oil, and we don't want that. I'm going to gently put these in one at a time. Be careful that you just want to slide them in so that you don't splatter. They're bubbling, which is perfect. They're just the right temperature. So all we have to do now is wait two minutes, keep our eye on the temperature, make sure that everything's staying enough apart from each other, and that's all there is to it. It's been almost exactly two minutes. I'm gonna start to flip them. Oh boy, take a look. Nice and brown, it's exactly what we want. It's a lot of fun to do this dish, and it doesn't take much time at all. These are just about ready. So I can remove them. Back onto that paper towel that I talked about. Let them drain just a little bit, but we don't want to wait too long before we put the honey on them, because you want them nice and crispy and hot when you serve them to your guests. Final step, add a little bit of honey we want to drizzle it in kind of a pretty way all over the top of these. And before we serve this, I'm going to give it a taste. It feels nice and crunchy and a little bit of moisture from not cutting it too thick or thin. It's a perfect first course. It's tender, it's creamy, 
It's got a lovely flavor of honey on it and a little bit of crunch. And I realize I probably should have done at least one more eggplant because we're gonna eat this one up really fast.